But you cannot lose when God's hand is on your life. Whew. Woo, guys, come on now. I know some of you guys are y'all know every single one of you are gonna resonate with this. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z. And welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence. You can see it becoming a reality and you can feel as if it is already done, guys. It is already yours. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a great start to your week. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and family. You already know the deal. Continue to keep on keeping on, guys, no matter what you guys are facing in your lives, all right? It is Monday mental health check-in, all right? So drop your comments down below. Let me know how you guys are doing, how you're feeling, what you are facing, what you know, what are you up against right now in your lives, all right? But also don't forget to drop the success stories as well, all right? Those are also very, very important, all right? Because people feed off of that positive energy. Okay, so if you had some success happen for you, we wanna hear about it, guys, all right? So drop that down below. Okay, now listen, I have a quick and a great motivational message for you guys, man, to take with you, to just, just carry it with you to the week, all right? This is my gift from me to you because I love you guys to life, all right? I thank you for being here and for your support, but you cannot lose when God's hand is on your life. Whew. Ooh, guys, come on now. I know some of you guys are y'all know every single one of you are gonna resonate with this. You can't lose when God's hand is on your life. Okay, and I want to tell you guys a little story as well. All right, so make sure you guys stay tuned, all right? Because I know you guys are gonna be able to resonate with my family, all right? But yes, you will fail in life. And some of you might be asking, well, but Coach Kev, if I fail, doesn't that doesn't that mean I'm losing? Nah, so you're only losing when you quit my family. All right, that's why failure is necessary but quitting is not an option. Why do you think so many people quit in life? Come on now, who can hear me? Why do you think so many people quit in life? Why do you think so many people are not where they want to be in life? Because they quit, all right? They failed, right? And they failed and they failed over and over and over again. Look, I'm gonna be walking around a lot really quickly. Y'all can probably see some of these gnats flying around in the video, man. They are just everywhere. But you know what? We're not worried about that right now. We're gonna continue to keep on keeping on, right? Why do you think okay that people are where they are in life okay and that's not to say that god's hand isn't on their life all right because people have gone through many many situations many experiences they've gone through many you know losing things losing people they've been through a lot of traumatic experiences all right and they have been saved okay but because of the things that they have gone through they decided to quit at life this is where you guys have the hand of god all over you in every situation every experience every opportunity every people that you, every person that you come across and why you are divinely protected no matter where you go i remember so shout out to um vcu i was a college graduate from uh virginia commonwealth university in richmond virginia um i studied business it was crazy family i, I wanted to go i was actually going in for engineering <laughs> right and then i got there i was like uh i don't i was like nah i don't want to do this right so i switched it up um went in there for business but no big shout out to that school um i had a great time learning growing meeting some phenomenal people making new friends everything like that so but while i was down there you know i was going to church and uh the pastor just happened to be my brother-in-law's cousin you know so it worked out very very well you know and i would get up at 5 a.m i would fast he would go pray with me everything like that and one time he laid hands on me um, no, not like that family, right? He didn't, we didn't get into no fight or anything. He didn't lay hands on me, but like he, like he prayed for me, right? And he was like, God told me to tell you that you are the catalyst to your family. And you know, I'm sitting there scratching my head. I'm like, he didn't even tell me what it meant. He just told me that he kind of just walked away. I was like, huh? I had no idea what he meant. As I got older, as I got more wise and gained more, you know, knowledge, I started to really, really understand what he meant. And I will never, ever forget that moment. I will never forget that moment, all right? Because now I can see where I am today, what I've been up against, what I've been tasked with, and just everything that has gone on in my life, family, and how God's hand has been on my life for a very, very long time, ever since I was born. And it's the same thing for you guys. Listen, it's not over for you. Okay, and that's another thing that I want to tell you to drop in this message today. A lot of you guys might be facing challenge after challenge after struggle after challenge after setback after setback. You might be going through financial struggles right now. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing financial struggles. I'm hearing setback with finances, car problems, bill collectors just calling and calling and calling. But listen, you cannot lose when God's, 
guys, come on, I please tell me someone's hearing me. You cannot lose when God's hand is on your life. Even if you have negative $200 in your bank account, you got negative $500 in your bank account. It seems like nothing is working. You can't lose when God's hand is on your life, all right? This is where your faith kicks in. This is where you have to continue to do what? You have to continue to keep on keeping on no matter what. Hold your faith strong because out of nowhere, like I tell you guys on the channel, man, that random, random uh, mailman or mailwoman is gonna show up and drop that random check off in your mailbox for you, okay? It's gonna come out of nowhere when you least expect it. When you least expect it. You failed, but you didn't quit. You continue to have faith. You continue to believe that everything that you were going through was gonna turn, was gonna change, excuse me, and turn around in your favor. And guess what? That's exactly what is going to happen. Not only has it happened once for you or twice for you or three or four times or five times for you, it's gonna happen over and over again. As you guys gain more wisdom and you continue to move through life, you're gonna see how much God's hand is really on your life and that you cannot lose, all right? Now the story that I was telling you guys about um, you know, this was from a narc that I have dealt with in my past. I probably told some of you guys probably remember if you've been around on the channel before. Okay. But listen, guys, you guys are like Gumby, right? You guys remember Gumby, the little rubber dude, right? You guys are like Gumby. So what people say and do to you, it just bounces right off in you and it happens to them. It just goes right back to them. But this is how you know you're divinely protected family. Okay. But I remember one time this woman tried to tell me, she, she, she tried to say, you know, I'm going to lay hands on myself. I'm going to abuse myself. I'm going to beat myself. I'm going to do this and do that. And then I'm going to call the cops and I'm going to have you arrested and this and that and the third. And I was like, you are insane. <laughs> you are crazy. You need to get away from me pronto. Pronto. Immediately. Exit stage left. Ooh, family. That's some really dark and demonic energy right there. But you know what? And I don't want to say it's the funny thing because it's not, you know, I don't wish bad upon anybody. It's not anything funny, but you will reap what you sow. And the next person that she ended up being with, you already know what I'm gonna say, family. He ended up doing that to her. I didn't have anything to say about it. Matter of fact, she don't even know that I know about it. Someone just happened to randomly tell me about it. And that's how you know that God's hand is all over your life and that you cannot lose. You cannot lose, you cannot lose, all right? You guys are gonna fail, man. You're gonna fail. All right, you cannot win without failure. All right, if everything was just given to you, given, 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 given to you on a silver platter, all right, you're never gonna appreciate the success. You're never gonna appreciate the journey. You're not gonna appreciate the path. You're not gonna appreciate the struggle. All right, so, so for people that's just been given everything, all right, and then they get to the point of their lives where somebody tells them no. They're like, no, I'm not giving you anything. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to act. They don't know how to maneuver because everything was just always given to them every single time. You guys remember that movie Step Brothers? It's probably one of my one of my favorite movies. That joint is so funny. Y'all remember Step Brothers? Like, they're, you know, um, with Will Ferrell and uh, um, I can't think of the other dude's name, but they're like 40 years old or whatever, living with their parents. They never done anything. Everything was always given to them, right? And then his dad was like, no, y'all need to get a job. And he was like, get a job. <laughs> right? They didn't even know how to ha have an interview or anything like that. It's the exact same thing in life, family. Anyway, but shout out. That movie's hilarious, man. I know you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but can't lose, family. All right? I just want to give you guys some, some motivation on this Monday. I want you guys to continue to keep pressing the needle forward. Continue to keep on keeping on. Because you cannot lose when God's hand is all over your life, guys. All right? I know you might be going through challenges. You might be going through struggles. You might be going through changes. All right, change a job, change of relationships, right? You might be losing people, gaining things, all right? There might be a lot shifting in your life right now, all right? Continue to trust the process. Continue to believe that everything that you are growing through is for your best life, all right? It's gonna help you become your best version, all right? You guys are being led, man. You guys are being divinely protected and led exactly where you need to be. Continue to stay in prayer. Continue to ask God for guidance if you don't see that clarity, all right? But just know, that when 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 you're up against attacks, all right, financial attacks, like I was telling you guys, man, when you're up against these attacks, all right, it's because something is about to come to you. Remember, man, the God, whoo, come on now, I know somebody can hear me. Something's about to come to you. That's why the attacks are happening because the blessing is coming, the breakthrough is coming, all right? That's why you can't lose 
when God's hand is on your life, guys, all right? So smile through all the adversities and all the challenges, all right? Because trust and believe, you will get around them, okay? So I love you guys to life, man. Big shout out to this entire community. You guys are loved. You guys are appreciated. Don't forget to head on over to the Speak and See It Feel It merch shop and grab your gear so you can continue to keep on keeping on, stay motivated, stay inspired, all right? And you guys don't stop. You guys don't stop, man. And if you wanna talk, all right, if you need a life coach, make sure to go and book a consultation call. All right, soon I'm gonna be changing the consultation prices, family. All right, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm changing the, I'm gonna be changing the consultation prices because I want, I want someone that, people that are actually serious about their life and wanting to change their lives. All right, many of you guys probably don't know this. If you book a consultation call with me, you immediately get a $20 coupon sent back to you in your email, right? I send you the $20 back in the email that you can use on another session. All right, that's a $20 consultation call. And if you sign a $20, the consultation call is for people that's like, yo, I want a life coach. You know, I want to meet with you, Coach Kev, like once a week. You know, let's talk. Let's make it happen. Let's do this. Let's do that. All right. And I got some new things that I'm working on that's going to be, I've been extremely busy, but I got some new things that I'm working on that's going to come out on the website um, and everything like that, guys. So I, I love you guys, man. All right. Shout out to all the Patreon members. You guys are appreciated too. I love you guys to life. All right, we're gonna be doing some more community Zoom sessions soon. Those are gonna be coming up. So shout out to the um to, to, uh, to all of you guys. All right, that's on the Patreon. All right, but listen, guys, I'm trying to tell you right now. When you like, when you sign up, when you uh, book a consultation call with me, and you're like, I want to move forward with a life, like actually life coaching program. All right, your uh, investment in the consultation is gonna go towards that price anyway. Okay. All right. But I have people that's just signing up as a consultation call, just asking for advice. And then boom, that's just a one-time thing. And they're like, oh, I don't want anything else. And that's not to say that's a bad thing. All right. It's not to say that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying, I'm just letting you know how my business is structured. All right. So you guys can uh, make sure that you make the right decision for yourselves and what you want. All right. So please make sure to read, read, read. All right. Read the fine print, read um, it's actually not fine, but I have it right there, right? Read um, the descriptions of the courses and everything like that, all right? So that way you can get a better uh, idea and understanding of what you may want and what you may need, all right? So other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day today. If this video resonated with you, you already know the deal, guys. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right here, all right? You can't lose, guys. You can't lose. You can't lose. You will fail, but don't quit. Please don't quit, no matter what you're going through. You won't quit. All right, we don't quit here. We're gonna continue to rise and shine, guys, all right? So y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week ahead. Don't forget to turn on your bell notifications for more videos to come, and I will see y'all soon in the next video. Peace.